the winner of the Rackspace Develop It, Wear It, Win It contest. Somebody's taking home $10,000. Find out who. What's your feedback uh, for the for these uh, for what you've seen today? Yeah, I mean, I think there's probably three categories. There's high concept, and here's my PowerPoint and idea. There's here's a hack that is interesting, not necessarily a use case yet. And then there were a few that were like, here's an actual use case, and it's actually sort of working. Yeah. Um, like golf, unfortunately, or... more of the High concept, here's my idea, and not so much of the actual yeah. working. Uh, the Imaginary Computers demo was actually showing a game that was using Google Glass and had real integration with uh, position and, uh, and shooting. And yeah. I thought the NZN Labs, although it wasn't maybe all the way to product, I could see where they were going, that looked pretty cool. So those are my two favorites. They were my two favorites too. Yeah, yeah I, um, my, I mean, my favorite was Imaginary Computers. Um, I also liked NZN, also Crowd Optic and Session Tech, the second last one. Yeah. So what I liked about um, Session Tech uh, was that the emotional reading, I think that's a huge thing and right. it, it clearly worked. Um, so seeing that as a demo, with imaginary computers, it was very similar to the last presentation, but I think he innovated on the fact that he could do a game of control without pressing the button. And I think being able to see that uh, really impressed me. Yeah, that was cool stuff. He, he did a lot of work in the last day yeah. too to get to get uh, his quality up. All oh, right, okay. Uh, but I I thought he's doing the best thinking of what yeah. Google Glass is going to be yeah. like in the real world. Okay. Um, and he's building a whole bunch of libraries that can be used to do things. Yosin actually has some cool trumpets that you can play. You know? Yeah. So she's playing with the sensors. It's just she's uh, she hasn't put it together as a, a company. I I think you like to see. Things like yeah, the golfing I, I app. I certainly realize that it's early, so uh, yeah. you know it doesn't necessarily have to be a fully functioning business yet. But it's nice to see a actual use case in execution. So like the iCaddy stuff looked really interesting. I think seeing that a little further along, where it actually wasn't here's my video of the concept, but here's the actual implementation of that would be cool. Yeah. Well, yeah. thanks for joining us. It's cool. always uh, fun to Absolutely. see how you think because you see so many companies. We were talking off camera how many companies you're going to see just yeah. at, at TechCrunch Disrupt. Let's I see think. if I can get to the front of the stage uh, without talking to 20. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for joining okay. us. We always appreciate uh, what you're doing. Oh, 500 thanks for having startups. us out. You're uh, about to start a new class, right? We're starting startups. our next batch, uh, batch seven, uh, in about a month. And we have at least 32 companies so far that we've selected. Uh, might add a few more, but probably at least 30 companies. Very cool. And how about you? You, you? Are you doing Startup Bus again at South by Southwest? Uh, we're doing it in America, Europe, and we're launching in Africa. Wow. wow. And, um, Africa. Africa, yeah. And you maybe. should talk about what, what is Startup Bus, because I've been on one, and it's yeah. a lot of fun. Uh, how do you get a bus from Africa to Texas? We're still working on that. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah um, it started as a joke over alcohol. I said, let's get on a bus and launch a startup. And since then, 700 people around the world have done it. And it's become a road trip slash hackathon that helps you change your view on life, I guess. Um, and what's keeping me busy now is Startup House, which is a new co-working facility here in the city. Cool and stuff. actually, it's cool to see Ocean present because a big focus for us is supporting women entrepreneurs and developers. And um, it's, I, we want to create a space that really supports uh, women to feel comfortable to work from. So yeah. it's cool to see you there. No, it's awesome. Uh, so I think we're decided, right? Imaginary Computers is yep. the winner? I think so, yeah, yep. absolutely. So congratulations to Sean. Sean, are you still around? You, you're the winner. So congratulations. Oh, Don't spend it all in one place. Come on, come on up here, Sean. So congratulations. We we, we were just talking about uh, the the things we saw here, and uh, congrats on winning ten thousand dollars. We liked uh, that the fact that you actually built something using the sensors that actually could be conceivably a commercial product at some point. You know, gaming is always going to be fun. And uh, we're right next to Zynga, right? <laughs> uh, so we know that's fundable. That's a thing that I think people are going to try on this class. Is can I play a new kind of game with this? But I, I think you're learning a 
where the sensors are is pretty remarkable. Thank you. How, Thank you how, so much. how much sleep did you get last night? Um, about 45 minutes. Yeah, because yeah. um, you radically improved what you showed me from earlier in the week to today. Right. Well, I, that's, you know, my day job. I'm a lead game developer, so this is what I do. And I've been doing um, stuff in the AR and the gyroscope world for like the last three years on iOS and Android for... Um, I've done various client projects for like uh, Puma and Disney Tokyo and stuff. So yeah, this was low hanging fruit for me. It's like when when I got glass, I was like, oh my God, I can actually build kind of this virtual reality light sort of thing. And it's it gave me goosebumps actually, because it feels like the future. Like I feel like when I first got my glass and I was just like, you know, it's kind of cool. But then when I got the gyros working, I was like, okay, now we're getting into the future territory. So. Well, congratulations. And, Thank you uh, so much. Hope to see uh, what you do in the future. It's, Thank you. It's only going to get better. <laughs> so Thank you very much. Right. Thanks, Thank guys. You. Thank, Thank you. you. And uh, thanks uh, to everybody for joining us. Uh, TechCrunch Disrupt all week long. We've been interviewing cool people like, like Sean. And it's uh, been a lot of fun. So thank you for joining us. We're going to keep doing this. Rackspace is really interested in the future of wearables because they are going to generate so much data that we need to get a handle on how fast this world is coming at us so we know how, how big an investment to make in these billion-dollar data centers that we're building. So thank you very much for joining us and keep building the future. Seeing into the future live. Rackspace's continuous coverage of TechCrunch Disrupt 2013 for seeing into the future and bringing it back sooner. Rackspace is proud to present $10,000 to Sean McCracken, an imaginary computer, this year's winner of the Developing Wear It, Win It contest from Rackspace. Congratulations. Rackspace Live, exclusive coverage of TechCrunch Disrupt 13, hosted by Robert Scoble. Produced by Rocky Barbanica. Build the future will help. Visit rackspacestartups.com for more.